We're thrilled to have Perpetual Guardian on board as the sponsors of our weekly personal finance section. Charlotte Lockhart, their consumer advocate, is joining us this morning. Now, Charlotte, you're going to be talking with us and your experts over the next few weeks about many things. Yes, we are. Very excited to have you on board. Thank you very much. Yes, well, we've got all sorts of things we want to be talking about, how to help your children save, mm -hmm. what you should be doing with your KiwiSaver, mm -hmm. how to budget. Um, but uh, next, next week, we've got uh, Robin Pierce. She's going to talk to you about how to be organised with your money matters and uh, some develop some habits for okay. a lifetime. All things that I think that I think that I definitely don't need, and I'm sure everybody else needs as well. Now, your message is money matters, which seems really obvious, but it's not necessarily obvious to some. Well, I mean, I think we all understand that money does matter but we don't necessarily know how to make it matter mm -hmm. and so what we want to do with this segment is make sure we're giving you some tips each week and uh, some support stuff that you can download from the website that will mean that you will be able to build up a good knowledge of how to make money matter in your life. Right, and basic things that we can do at home. Basic things you'll be able to do at home. Excellent. So what are the most common money problems that you come across? Oh, well, I mean, people often say to us, you know, I wish I had, well, they'll say to us, I mean, we do wills, trusts and EPAs, and they'll say, I've got nothing to give away. What's an EPA? An EPA is an enduring power of attorney, and it's something that supports you in your lifetime, and we'll talk about all of that over okay. the weeks. But um, So they say, well, I haven't got anything that I can leave to people. And so what we want to do is make sure that people understand a, a process to be able to make that happen. So the sort of things that we tend not to do uh, is take a focus on our time um, to be not having too much coffee that we're paying for, possibly um, paying for lunches when we shouldn't, um, buying new cars when we don't need them. Mike. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so we want to be giving you all of these tips in terms of how to make that difference for yourself. Okay, so it can be big things, it can be small things It can as well. be big things, uh, coffee or cars. Yeah, well, I'm so, actually I've done both of those things in the last couple of months, so <laughs> maybe I do need some advice. Uh, what can we do today, uh, what are some simple steps, maybe three things we can do today if we want to start making our money work for us and matter for us? Yep. So I think we need to understand what our spending habits are and understand what sort of spender we are. So I often say to people, when you get your FPOS card out, because let's face it, it's not usually cash these days, and you're going to buy a coffee or a car or whatever you're going to be buying, ask yourself, is this thing that you're about to mm. buy more important to me than financial freedom? So therefore you're analysing every time you're doing something. Now you might still say, like, I really need this coffee because yeah. I'm not going to be able to be sparkly on the show without it. Well, that first coffee of the morning and I'm standing in that line going, is it, is it more important than financial freedom? Yes, yes it is yeah, well, at it that is. stage. <laughs> maybe gonna, not the second one. No, exactly, exactly. Or, you know, well, maybe I could just wait till I get to work before I have one and I won't have to pay for it. <laughs> yes, because we do have our delightful barrister. Exactly. Yeah. Barrister. Barista. barista. <laughs> <laughs> I need another coffee, Jessie. Thank you. Yeah. Maybe I've given them a whole legal qualification to go with it. <laughs> You're going to help me out with my will afterwards, Jesse. Thank you very much. Okay, and one, what's one final step we can do? Um, so then the other thing we can do is be looking at whether you're in KiwiSaver or not. And if you are in KiwiSaver, then you should be looking at what you do with your KiwiSaver. Don't just put it in and then uh, set and forget. You should be looking at what is the uh, package you're in, who's your sub provider, all of those little things that make uh, the KiwiSaver a great investment. Great. Thank you so much, Charlotte.